it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on? I haven't done a reading for you guys in forever, but I am. I'm going to do a reading for Scorpio. I want to see what's going down for Scorpio these days. Because I want to know. All right, you guys. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about Scorpio today. Y'all kick back, get comfy, get your blanket, get your pillow, snuggle up on the couch, put your earbuds in, throw it up on a big screen, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, and let's jump into these cards, all right? Um, there are some things you need to know about me. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I swear and I smoke. If any of those things bother you, you just might want to go home right now, okay? All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio, yeah? Scorpio. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Scorpio with me. Spirit and Scorpio wants to know what you know. What do you know about Scorpio and what does Scorpio need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Scorpio. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future, Spirit? What? Okay, right there. All right, let's go. Can you guys see? Oh, let's go. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles. Hey. Ooh. And the Devil. All right. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Okay. Ooh. Tower. We're going to take those two. Nine of Pentacles in the Tower. Okay. All right, let me put these up here for later reference. Okay, Scorpio, this is what's going on, okay? So you open this reading being mentally restless, mentally restless about a lack of progress in your life, okay? The devil in reverse talks about detaching from some kind of toxicity in your life to the Nine of Swords in reverse, which was a very painful lesson for you. Filled with anxiety and despair about it right now. Mentally restless, right? This tells me that this is probably either just happened, happening, or just about to happen, okay? Because you can't be mentally restless about something that isn't like active, okay? Okay, I mean, you can, you can don't get me wrong, you can obsess about things, but that's, that's different than the Four of Swords in reverse, okay? So you're trying to detach from some kind of toxic vein that is a very painful lesson in your life, okay? Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. What's the problem? Well, well, Princess of Swords, Four of Swords in reverse. What's the problem is that there was a situation where you were giving, receiving, and sharing in the prosperity of life with someone, okay? Um, there was um, lots of feels, lots of love, okay? Ace of Pentacles. Um, this person wants to start again with you, okay? And it's a challenge with the Seven of Wands. It's a challenge for you to start again with this person because we have the Seven of Swords in the center of the reading, right? Four of Cups. You're contemplating, reevaluating, and thinking about things. What's the what's the understanding that you come to? Well, the advice being Major Arcana, in addition to detach from toxicity with the devil in reverse, is to bounce out in a new beginning and a new journey. That's the the advice here. As you're contemplating and reevaluating if you should re-engage with this situation, the fool says, new beginning, new journey, bounce out. Six of Swords in reverse. Scorpio says there's too much mental bullshit going on here. There's too much mental baggage. I can't get over whatever this Seven of Swords in, in the center of the reading is. Princess of Swords. Somebody's communicating with you, wanting to pull this back together again. 
And the Four of Swords in reverse is what we opened with as well. And this has you all screwed up in the head, Scorpio. All screwed up in the head. However, in true Scorpio fashion, you're coming to terms with things in the Moon in reverse, right? The Moon card is about the struggle between that which we know to be true and that which we really wish wasn't true, okay? It's the struggle between the spiritual and the flesh, okay? And the moon in reverse, though, is Scorpio coming to terms with that struggle, big time coming to terms with that struggle, eight of pentacles, and coming to an understanding that they can rebuild, to the Ace of Wands in a new direction to the Ace of Swords because the truth of the situation is the hangman in reverse. You are going to resist this or your advice is to resist this. This is a general reading, okay? Don't make any kind of decisions in your life based on anyone's general tarot card reading. If you want to know your story, get your cards read, okay? Hangman in reverse says resist. You are resisting to the Seven of Swords. This is betrayal, deception all over the place. Betrayal and deception. Spirit, tell us about the Seven of Swords, please. Tell us about the Seven of Swords. Tell us about the Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, someone trying to get away with something. What are they trying to get away with? What happened here with Scorpio? What happened here with Scorpio? What happened? Here with Scorpio spirit. Tell us. It doesn't matter. It just is. Four of Wands in reverse. This betrayal and this deception upset your sense of stability and contentment in your life. That's for sure. Anything else that we need to know about this? Anything else? And the Nine of Wands. You're plum worn out. Plum worn out by the situation to the Six of Wands. There is a lack of success here. Why is there a lack of success here? Because you can't get over whatever it is that happened in the situation with the Seven of Swords. You just can't get over it, okay? And therefore, because you can't get over it, you don't see any kind of success in the situation. And if you're on the fence about it, these cards are telling you there will be no kind of success in the situation. Even if this person changes into the perfect whatever, um, they're still going to stick in your craw what it is that this person did to you. Okay? Temperance. Uh, Scorpio's pulling themselves together, though. Your advice is to pull yourself together. King of Pentacles and boss up. Boss up. Make responsible decisions about your future. Think about yourself, not in a selfish kind of way, but do what's right for you. The alchemist says manifest. Manifest in a different direction. And the Prince of Swords is Scorpio wrapping their mind around an idea and executing it in their life. Two of Swords at the crossroads, right? What's the crossroads? Well, the two of cups in reverse, a breakup, the lovers in reverse, a misaligned relationship from a spiritual perspective. Lovers in the upright. Your choices about the relationships that you allow into your life. Ten of swords in reverse. Are you going to renew and regenerate something that ended very, very painfully to the queen of cups? The Queen of Cups is the person that's coming to you, asking you to, to make this better somehow, some way, okay? Strength comes on top of this and says, find, find the truth of the situation and be strong within yourself. Death, Scorpio, bring an end to the situation. Three of Pentacles, because teamwork and collaboration can't happen here. King of Wands in reverse, because you are dealing with someone who is self-centered, um, self, self-centered. And that's what Scorpio knows to be true within themselves. The High Priestess, your intuition, Two of Wands in reverse, is telling you that you cannot build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself in this situation. The Prince of Pentacles, um, because you will consistently carry the, well, for Scorpio, suspicion right? You will consistently carry um, doubt for this person. 
strength in reverse, and that will be your downfall. Ace of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands in reverse, your downfall, right? Strength in reverse, your weakness. The Queen of Swords um, make very, 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 very careful and important decisions in this particular situation. So Scorpio with the Queen of Swords is drawing a line in the sand and setting boundaries, okay? Drawing a line in the sand and setting boundaries to the Empress. Um, Scorpio is bossing up, taking control of the situation. The Empress is nobody but you right here, Scorpio. Nobody but you. The Empress is careful of her thoughts because she knows that what she thinks about comes about, period period, period. So she's very careful with her subconscious manifestations. The Empress understands her intuition and she follows it. It is her true north and her compass. And this is Scorpio stepping into your power, male or female, it don't matter, stepping into your power and taking control of your life. Princess of Wands in reverse. Nothing good to be had here. Ten of Cups. What we had before Princess of Cups in reverse, reverse cannot be recreated. The Three of Cups, reuniting and celebrating with one another. Five of Swords in reverse. There's just too much resentment. Therefore, with the World card, close this cycle out and start a new chapter of your life. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Protect yourself. The Hermit, do some soul searching and some introspection. Judgment, so you can make a conscious, cognitive, clean decision. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, because if you keep doing what you've always done, you will continue to get what you've always gotten. If you go back with this person because of some emotional codependency, or if you go back with this person because it's too hard to start over again, you will find yourself in this position again. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. Your future, what you want to build, the Princess of Pentacles, um, is to be manifested someplace else. Princess of Cups in reverse. Feelings cannot be fixed here. Death in reverse. Personal transformation for Scorpio. Again, three of wands. Have some foresight for the future. The alchemist in reverse. The future you want cannot be built here. You, and the alchemist in reverse is also about potential, but you can't build on potential. You have to build on reality. Nine of Swords in reverse, and the reality is it will end in a painful lesson again. Justice in reverse. Why will it end in a painful lesson again? Because you've already learned what it is that you need to learn about this person, about yourself in this situation. And if you consciously choose to re-engage with it, you are not being true to your journey because justice is saying justice is the in I'm sorry the injustice is saying that you will repeat this again nine of swords in reverse right there right you will repeat this painful lesson again and it will be an injustice to your life because you didn't handle it right the first time prince of wands take some inspired action eight of swords in reverse to get a new perspective prince of swords in reverse it's all talk no action undelivered promises and you're just going to spin your wheels Five of Cups in reverse. Move on. Move on. Eight of Wands. Go in a new direction. The Six of Cups. Possibly back home again. Possibly back to um, something that is comfortable, warm, and fuzzy for you. To the Fool. A brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Go in a different direction to build Ace of, Ace of Wands, right? An inspired new beginning. The Hermit, you don't believe me, ask yourself. The Emperor in reverse, egocentric, self-centered, five of swords, right? This person, the situation is, is not going to change. It will repeat itself. It will repeat itself. Even if it repeats itself continuously forever in your mind, it's going to repeat itself. Look, five of wands, and it's going to cause conflict. It's going to cause insecurities and conflict in you, Scorpio. And you know that in this moon in reverse. Don't ignore your intuition. The sun, I mean, the uh, the nine of pentacles, right? Stand in your power. Independent, self-sufficient, bringing a culmination to that which no longer serves you well in your life. To the sun in reverse. Because, yeah, could you re-engage with this and be kind of happy? Sure. Would it be comfortable and convenient? Yes. 
but you will never be able to shake whatever this betrayal and deception right here was. You're not going to be able to ever get rid of it. And that's what they want you to know, spirit, 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 <laughs> Scorpio. That's what they want you to know, Scorpio, that even though you may be uh, tempted to re-engage with this, it's not in your best interest. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It isn't the end of the world. It may feel like it's the end of the world right now, but I promise you it's not the end of the world. It's an opportunity to grow, learn, and understand yourself and your spirituality better so you can build stronger in your future, okay? Namaste.